Adam McFadden sent a letter to the mayor, police chief, and city council president with a laundry list of complaints about police citizen interactions, saying the city of Rochester has lost control of its police force. What do you tell you? Back up! Go! Back away! Just go! Just go! 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 I don't care. Go! Just keep moving. Keep moving. And we are on the verge of a public safety disaster. They're grabbing somebody. There's an arrest. There's an arrest. They're hitting him. They're hitting him. What are you guys doing? They didn't do nothing. What are you guys doing? Pepper spray! Pepper spray is out! Pepper spray is out! Pepper spray is out! Um, it seems like the Rochester Police Department is out of control. I mean, it, it, if, uh, if there were like one or two isolated incidents, that would be one thing, but it, it seems like there's this just pattern of behavior that shows that they've lost it. I mean, uh, today it's because the last time we were marching, we were peaceful. We actually followed the directions that were issued which were to get on the sidewalk, not to disperse. And regardless of that, police made violent arrests at random. And I really feel like that's one of the most serious and obvious symptoms of injustice in our society. And we can't just let it go. Hey, hey! Stay home! Fire the cops have got to go! Hey, hey! Stay home! Fire the cops have got to go! Hey, hey! Stay home! Fire the cops have got to go! I find there's an increasing militarization in the entire country. And Rochester's got an LRAD, they brought it out to hassle us with today. The numbers of police they send out is appalling. That was bad enough, and then the Puerto Rican festival, they came out in riot gear, prepared for trouble, and caused trouble. I was at the anti-capitalist march also, and it was not right for people to get arrested, especially the live streamer. Uh, it was totally uncalled for. Um, it was a peaceful uh, protest. Um, we were in the streets, but it is a protest and it is a statement. Um, and that's why I'm back again because people should not get arrested like that. And that was totally wrong. I'm out here first and foremost because I was with a group of people that were brutally attacked by the RPD this past Saturday. Um, but more broadly, I'm here because uh, I'm furious about the activity of the RPD over the last several years and uh, the fact that they seem to think that they can do whatever they want without any recourse. Tear down! Tear down! I was one of the ones arrested and maced at the Saturday march, so um, I've you know, uh, only moved to Rochester a few months ago and I heard they're pretty uh, out of control with all the murders going on the past few years and um, obviously I was, you know, uh, had a first-hand experience of a Saturday, and then not just Rochester, but you know, in Anaheim and police across the United States are all out of control. So, just standing up against that. So, I'm here today uh, to stand with uh, with the people of Rochester uh, to stand up against police brutality by the RPD. Um, they're a 
they have proven themselves uh, over the years and particularly in recent history to be totally unaccountable to the community that they're supposed to be protecting and serving. Um, you know, and, and the, the, what, what we've experienced uh, this past weekend is really only the tip of the iceberg, right? Like, okay, like they, they dispersed a, a march in a rough way, but then it's also, you know, they murder people. They, you know, they, uh, they imprison people on bullshit charges for no reason. That all, this, all this other stuff. People should be allowed to, um, uh, what's the word, use their First Amendment rights and say what they want. And I don't think they were doing anything to provoke that, the response of the police and to provoke being arrested. I'm here not only because I participated in the anti-capitalist march on Saturday where 18 protesters were not only arrested but, you know, uh, treated quite violently by the Rochester Police Department. Um, I'm also here because I think the Rochester Police Department acts like a pack of wild animals recently. Um, they can't seem to keep their hands off their guns, shooting pets, um, shooting people, um, shooting people's pets, and uh, generally creating an atmosphere of uh, fear and domination in the community that does not need to exist. I'm here just to witness what's going on because what was going on for the anti-capitalism march seemed appalling to me and totally reactionary on the part of the police. So, I just wanted to see for myself if that happened again, I wanted to be able to witness it. My daughter is involved in this and she's extremely terrified of the police at this point. She had gotten pepper sprayed. And so it's my concern for, for her, my concern for what happened that day and what continues to happen. I'm just out of my mind just really as a, as a homeowner in the city for 20 years, I'm just appalled by the actions of the RPD here. Um, they, they're using a lot of resources for shock and awe. Uh, and they're, just, they're, they're totally out of control. We need we need ride, okay. civilian ride-alongs, police cars. Sure. We need uh, trained psychologists in police cars. And uh, we need to put a stop to this violence and war on youth and, um, and poor people in this city. Absolutely. I came here because I was at the anti-capitalist march and completely jarred and disgusted by the RPD. And there's been a lot of really horrible things that the cops have been doing locally, nationally, internationally. We had a, a very bad weekend for police action here in Rochester. There, there were 58 arrests between a, a, a few situations. Uh, on Saturday, at the anti-capitalist march, protesters were taken off of the sidewalk without warning and arrested. Some of them beaten, pepper sprayed. <laughs> they, they did not do anything violent. They did not want to do anything violent. The violence came from the police. situation was repeated, this time after the Puerto Rican festival of the Hudson Avenue. As usual, every year, the large crowds gather, and as usual, every year, there was a mass arrest. And, and I was actually out canvassing today, and I saw people who were there, and, and they, they told me what, what they saw happen. They, they saw someone on the street get, get dragged, dragged by an officer uh, onto the, the hood of a squad car and be arrested for disorderly conduct. No one knows why. He wasn't any more disorderly than anyone else. Nothing illegal was happening. And, and then the other Puerto Ricans who were there tried to defend him. And what did the police do? Tear gas! They threw tear gas! Shame on them. 
there were riot cops present. And why were there riot cops? They were expecting a riot. And just like most years, they didn't get one. So they made one. concert in a house up Alexander Street. Same thing happened again. Four unjustified arrests. At least 12 this time. A, an officer followed someone in who was at the show, and the, the police called for reinforcements as they beat and pepper sprayed and, mace, and tased their way through the crowd. Oh! Oh! Not only did they bring out this taser, they tased a pregnant woman. Since that chalk was critical of the police, they arrested him. Uh, you know, I think they were clearly trying to agitate people. People were there. People were getting fired up. People were, were calling for accountability, and that's when they came in. I think they were hoping that people were going to agitate and sort of swarm the police so they could have an incident because it was clearly an unprovoked incident where people were just sidewalk chalking. And, um, and about. 20 police got out of their cars for one guy who was supposedly sidewalk chopping. Mm -hmm. And it just shows that they were trying to agitate. Not only was it complete bullshit that Jake was arrested, but they were trying to agitate people because they used so much resources. They need to justify why they would do this, right? They need to at least get one arrest. Why would they raise $10,000 for the peaceful march? Why would they raise all these police on this? Right? They need to justify it, and this is this is the tactic they use, and it was completely ridiculous. Jake was trying with Chuck. I watched the police officer order handcuffs on the street before, on Exchange Street. He sent for handcuffs, and then he asked uh, somebody to get them. He tucked them away, came around the corner, waited for the first opportunity and nabbed Jake. So I felt like Jake was probably targeted. If not Jake, he was ready to get somebody. And I feel like they're provocative and deliberately antagonistic. We're still talking about things that need to be fixed. And uh, I'm done doing studies. I'm done talking about it. Let's act. And that's what we're going to do.